let's understand multiples when we multiply any two or more numbers we get a product this product is the multiple of the numbers multiplied so 16 is the multiple of 2 and 16 is the multiple of 8 as well these are the tables of numbers till 1 to 10 let's take two's table we say these are the multiples of 2 because we can get these numbers by multiplying 2 to some other number. So all the numbers that come in 2's table are multiples of 2. All the numbers that come in 3's table are the multiples of 3. All the numbers that come in 8's table are the multiples of 8. Let's take a number 6. 6 comes in 1 stable, 2 stable, 3 stable and 6 is stable. So 6 is the multiple of 1, 2, 3 and 6. Number 10 comes in 1 stable, 2 stable, 5 stable and 10 stable. So number 10 is the multiple of 1, 2, 5 and 10. We can extend these tables endlessly. Let's understand multiples by some examples. Let's take number 16. We can obtain number 16 by multiplying 1 and 16. 2 and 8, 4 and 4. So we say 16 is the multiple of 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. We can obtain 8 by multiplying these numbers. There are no other numbers that can be multiplied together to get 8. So we say 8 is the multiple of 1, 2, 4 and 8. We can obtain 27 like this. There are no other numbers left that can be multiplied together to get 27. So we say 27 is the multiple of 1, 3, 9 and 27. So you can see that every number is a multiple of 1 and itself. Every number is a multiple of 1 and itself. 1 and itself. Multiples and factors are related to each other. In our next video, we will understand about factors and the relation between multiple and factors.